Don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel to support me. The best oxygenating pond plants, top plant species compared. When it comes to your pond, aquatic plants provide not only a pleasant aesthetic and necessary habitat for your pond critters, but can act as important oxygenators, too. With all of the varieties and species, choosing the right plants for your pond may seem like a bit of a daunting task. Some provide excellent habitat for fish and frogs, others soak up pollutants, still others aid in oxygenating the water, and some of them perform all of these functions. So, how do you choose which ones to incorporate into your pond, and where? Which ones are the best oxygenators? Let's break it down types of pond plants, which are oxygenators. There are four main types of pond plants, bog, marginal, floating, and submersed. Each of these in turn is broken down into two groups, hardy and tropical, respectively synonymous with perennial, two years, and annual, one year. Bog plants are, you guessed it, most well suited to damp, bog-like conditions. Essentially, they do best along the edges of ponds where the soil is moist but there isn't much standing water, as they are adapted to have only their roots submerged. This category includes some rhubarb species, as well as carnivorous plants like the pitcher plant. Marginal, or emergent, plants thrive in waters that are 0 to 6 inches above their crown, otherwise known as the part of the plant that is not beneath the soil. Again, Pond edges suit them best. Since part of the plant can exist within the water, they do provide some direct oxygenation. Common marginal plants are cattails, pictured, rushes, and beautiful lotuses. Unsurprisingly, floating pond plants float atop the open water and do not require soil for their roots. They provide shade, habitat, and soak up excess nutrients, which in turn helps prevent algae overgrowth. Water hyacinth, water lettuce, and duckweed are all members of the floating plant group. As you're reading this article, presumably you're looking for plants that are efficient water oxygenators. Out of all of the groups mentioned above, submersed pond plants are by far the best at providing oxygen and filtering your water to deter algae growth. Also known as macrophytes, they thrive beneath the surface, providing valuable underwater habitat for fish. Some of them may have portions above the surface, such as leaves or flowers. As all or most of the plant is beneath the surface, oxygen is released directly into the water through photosynthesis during the day. Hornwort, anatrace or illodea, and eelgrass are popular examples of submerged pond plants. Benefits of oxygenating plants, why should you add them? Why is ensuring that your pond has plenty of dissolved oxygen important? Most fish species do best with oxygen concentrations of at least 6 parts per million (ppm) or 6%. This minimum supports a more diverse array of fish species and allows for spawning below this level, and conditions are considered to be stressful. If oxygen levels fall below 3 parts per million, most fish species will die. With this in mind, incorporating oxygenating plants into your pond is a simple and vital step in providing adequate oxygen, habitat, and nutrient absorption for your ornamental pond and its inhabitants. Another benefit is that they help prevent phytoplankton from becoming too abundant through providing shade and absorbing excess nutrients that algae thrive on. While phytoplankton are considered healthy, vital algae that also help oxygenate water, allowing algae of any kind to grow unchecked will result in overconsumption of your pond's oxygen, fish die-offs, and your pond stagnation over time. Fortunately, as also detailed in previous articles, there are a variety of straightforward methods to help mitigate algae overgrowth. The most effective oxygenating plant species, are 8 top picks. 1. Arrowhead, Sagittaria subulata. 2. Eelgrass, Valisneria. 3. Fanwort, Cabamba. 4. Hornwort, Anphoceratopsida. 5. Red Rotula, Rotula macrandra. 7. Water Sprite, Ceratopterus thalictroides. 
8. Water Wisteria, Hygrophila deformis Are oxygenating plants enough for fish? The short answer here is no. These plants do produce oxygen throughout the day, but at night they also consume a portion of that oxygen during respiration. If you only have a few small fish in your pond, this may not be a problem. However, it's always a good idea to utilize an electric aerator to truly safeguard the oxygen levels for your fish, particularly if you have larger individuals or a significant fish stock. Utilizing both an aerator and pond plants will provide abundant dissolved oxygen while also offering habitat and hiding places for snails, fish, frogs, and any other pond inhabitants you may have. The plants will also keep algae populations in check, while the aerator will mix the water, ensuring that it doesn't become stagnant and oxygen is well distributed throughout all of the pond's layers. layers.